Christians celebrated Easter Sunday in their homes isolated because of the coronavirus. Meanwhile, pastors preached the joyous news of Christ's resurrection to empty pews. Worldwide, families who normally would attend church in their Easter best stayed home. Correspondent Mark Irons has a look at some of the celebrations, and he joins us now by Skype. Mark? Tracy, I was right here in my house participating in Holy Week services on my computer. Now, we took a lap around the world to see how the faithful decided to spend this Easter. May Almighty God have mercy on us. In New York City, Cardinal Timothy Dolan celebrated Easter Mass inside an empty St. Patrick's Cathedral. All over the world, people tuned in to Easter services remotely. Masses broadcast everywhere, including in Australia and Iraq. This Franciscan friar in Cuba saying every Christian household has been transformed into a church. In Croatia, this priest felt very capable of setting up a live stream of Easter Mass. I graduated uh, computer programming before I became a priest. Parishioners were uh, enthusiastic, they were joyful. And Easter prayers for virus victims in Spain, a country hit hard by COVID-19. And on Good Friday, a Catholic archbishop in India distributing food and protective masks to the poor. In Jerusalem, friars clad in masks pray the Stations of the Cross. And in Paris, France, a special Good Friday service inside Notre Dame Cathedral, a year after it was in flames. The Archbishop of Paris saying, Today we are in this half-collapsed cathedral to say that life is still here. Tracy, in a statement, the president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, Archbishop Jose Gomez of Los Angeles, offered a message of hope. Gomez said, Christ is risen. This is the joy of Easter. And he went on to say, what a gift to hear those words during the time of the coronavirus. Tracy. All right. Thank you, Mark. Correspondent Mark Irons reporting tonight.